Good afternoon. It is November 5th, 2023. It's the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. And I am back from my trip to Italy. We had a wonderful time. Uh, 41 pilgrims who traveled through Italy visiting uh, the historic sites and sites of Eucharistic miracles. It was a very, very wonderful time, very challenging time, as all pilgrims, pilgrimages are because not everything is going to work out perfectly every time. But we are back and it's time to get back to work and time to once again put our focus on the things that need to be focused on. It was wonderful focusing on the Eucharistic miracles because they're so powerful in their teaching. But they're a constant reminder to the priest about the importance of service. Almost every Eucharistic miracle has attached to it some kind of doubt. People wondering, is this really, truly the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ? And God's response to that has always been, yes, it is. Challenging as that might seem. But key within it is understanding service. And in our scriptures today, our gospel today, Jesus is railing against the Pharisees because they're putting on airs. They want everybody to notice them. They want to be special. And Jesus turns around and reminds them that no, in God's eyes, we're all equal. We all have different roles. We all have different vocations. But each of us serves the building up of the kingdom of God. And none of us is more important than the other. And when it comes to celebrating the Eucharist, there's a constant reminder to the priest that his calling is to service. As a priest, my priestly ministry has three offices. Sanctification, which is the sacraments, the teaching office, and the governance office. But all three of them revolve around service. If I don't show up at church, the people of God don't get fed. And so my service to the people is, as Jesus said to Peter, feed my sheep. In the breaking open of the word, the teaching office of the priest, if I'm not feeding the people, once again, Jesus' words to Peter, feed my sheep. And in the final part of it, in the governance of the, the priestly office, well, you got to keep the lights on, you got to keep the church heated, because nobody wants to go into a cold and dark church. So there's that responsibility to make sure that where we worship and gather is acceptable and well received. But that again is service. And when Jesus was really against the Pharisees, it's the fact that they had forgotten their call to service. They'd forgotten what they really were supposed to be about. And that too happens to us as priests and bishops and deacons, that we sometimes lose our focus. We sometimes forget that our calling is primarily to service. Pope Francis, in one of his really, really great tirades, and every now and then it's like, you gotta love Pope Francis because he basically kind of calls it like it is, and it's not comfortable. And he was railing against the seminarians in Rome who were going around to the finer clerical shops, checking out what kind of cassock they would look best in. And the Holy Father is like, no, this is not what the priesthood is about. It is not what being a seminarian is about. We sometimes forget that it's like Jesus walked around. He was a poor man. He was dressed like everybody else. And he asked my clerics, do identify me? And there are some days where they're very helpful. There are also some days where you get the person coming up to you, giving you heck because, you know, how dare you priests? And we all get lumped into the same category. But the challenge is, is it's not what I look like. The Pharisees were, you know, their phylacteries long and, and, and broad and all of us, it's like, uh, no, it's not about how we dress. It's not about how we look. It's about service. Are we taking care of the people? And oftentimes I find it's sort of like, you know, cassocks are wonderful, but they're not practical. They look lovely but they're not practical. And the thing is, 
in our call to service, Jesus got down on his knees and he washed the feet of his disciples. Well, as a priest, if I'm providing service to the people, frequently it is not an easy job. Well, how are we looking after them? What kind of example are we setting for them of taking care of things? You know, one of the first things I was told after I was ordained is never ask your staff to do something that you yourself are not prepared or willing to do. And two days later, the toilet backed up in this, the rectory. And the pastor looked at me and said, well, Kevin, you know where the plunger is. Go take care of it. Don't ask the staff, just go and do it. Well, there are some days where asking the staff is the brighter thing to do. But the reality is, as pastor, as priest, uh, putting on airs, thinking you're better than, puts us in that category of the Pharisees that Jesus railed against. It puts us in the category of those seminarians that Pope Francis rails against. It's not about putting on airs. It's not about looking special. It's not about thinking you're special. It's about feeding the sheep. It's about taking care of the sheep. It's about making sure that the sheep have a place to give praise and worship to God, a place where they can be fed. For us as Catholics, that feeding, first and foremost, is always the Eucharist. I invite you to pray for your priests. I invite you to pray for more priests because we have a horrible shortage. You sometimes wonder how the people are going to get fed. The Synod on Synodality, there's lots of talk about how we're going to fix the priesthood. At the end of the day, God is calling. The question is, are we willing to serve? And when I look at the priesthood and the dire straits that we're in, and then I look over at the sisters and the nuns, and they're in worse shape than we are. There was a time in this world where every parish had a spiritual mother and a spiritual father. We have a lot of parishes where we have a single parent, where there is no spiritual mother in the parish anymore. This is a very important role that the sisters and the nuns provided in our parishes, in the life of the people. But it's gone. It's coming back in some places, but it's a hard road. It is November 5th, 2023. It's the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. And may God continue to watch over you, protect you, guard you all the days of your life. Take care. God bless.